Hey guys, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Actually, I'm coming to you uh, from New York. I'm in Buffalo, New York for the uh, New York Mini. And uh, I just arrived, it's like 20 minutes to four. Um, and I got a message uh, after I arrived. Uh, it looks like Paul Irwin had a question in the x -Lights group that he tagged me in. And um, I didn't, I, honestly, he, he's asking for something that isn't directly straightforward. But uh, he's looking to, uh, he's trying to create a curtain effect, pulling away the colored version of a image and then revealing a black and white version of the same effect. Uh, but it involves two steps of rendering by exporting a subset of effects to the video and then having a curtain effect reveal the video. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this, Paul, and, and everybody else for that uh, matter. So, um, let me, I'm gonna show you two ways actually, two ways. I'll show you the easy way first. So let's let's go ahead. I've, I've, I've got a picture effect right here and I already got a pumpkin. I, I went and downloaded a, a pumpkin off the internet I found. So this is, this is a freebie, right? Um, and then um, the one thing I'm gonna to have to do with this pumpkin, I'm gonna move it down to a, a layer below it here. And then on the color palette here, you see this is the color palette. We're gonna to go to the saturation line and we're gonna turn it into a pumpkin that is black and white. Now I'm gonna go up here and grab another one of these and I'm going to change the saturation to let's say zero. Now we have a color pumpkin and we have a pumpkin below it that is black and white. So what I'll do is I'll make this shorter and we can use a transition effect here. Uh, let's let's hover over this. It says that this effect down here, look in the bottom right here, it says that this is 2.25. Uh, so 2.25 duration is my out transition. And I'm going to do a from middle transition. And now it's closing and it's revealing that black and white pumpkin. I'm going to click the reverse button here and there's the curtain effect. Well, that's one way to do it. Now here's the second way. And to do this, uh, uh, once again, I'm going to uh, employ this pumpkin here and I'm gonna put him in the top layer. And I'm, I'm going to employ this one here and I'm going to grab him and put him down here. And I'm going to get rid of his transition time because they don't need a transition. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use layer blending to do the work for us. And we're actually going to use the curtain effect. I'm pressing the letter C on my keyboard for the curtain effect. And now all you see is the colored version or the uh, black and white version of the uh, of the pumpkin. So let's change the layer blending uh, of the top layer here. Let's do what I call throw it in the background. I'll throw it in a layer below or layered below. Now we see the curtain revealing the pumpkin. And we want the curtain to open up from the front, right? And so let's do it for, or from the center. So let's change it from the center. We can, we can add a little swag to the middle there. And uh, we have it opening from the center. And it's kind of slow. We want it to be a little faster than that. So we'll make it shorter, right? And uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the curtain effect to take on the... Uh, layered image of the pumpkin, the colored pumpkin below it. And to do that, we're going to use two, uh, I'm sorry, one is unmask. True unmask, there we go. And there you go. There is the easiest way that uh, I can think of to have a pumpkin reveal from the colored version to a black and white version uh, using the layer blending method, or you can use a transition method, which works just as, as great. So you could make Maybe extend that out a little bit more so you want the color out there. But there you go. Two different ways to accomplish about the same thing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, we appreciate everything uh, that you uh, do for us here at PPD. And we appreciate you guys. If you like what we do, uh, then consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the, uh, the New York Mini. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy the video. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Take care.